You Belong With Me by Taylor Swift. When we use a capo at the fourth fret, this is one of the easiest Taylor Swift songs to play, using just four chords, D, A major, E minor, and G. If we don't use a capo, we're in the non-capo key of F sharp, and no one wants that. The chords we will use are this D major chord, to an A major chord, there are of course a few ways to play an A major, I even like to play it with one finger sometimes, or playing them in this fashion that I've taught many times before, but this is the one I'll be using in this tutorial. Then to E minor, to G major. Whether you use three fingers or four fingers to play the G, just like the A major, total personal preference. As long as it's the correct chord, you can play it how you want to play it, totally fine. The strumming pattern that we're going to go for throughout this entire song is just simply down, 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 up, down, up. That's what we're going to be going for. All I want you to do is play it quieter in the verses and then louder in the chorus. And when we play it quieter, we really do that by keeping that strumming more narrow. We did this in my previous Taylor Swift tutorial uh, for Love Story, but just keep that strumming narrow in the verse. A bit more like that, and then in a chorus. And whichever one you go for, try and keep it even. Try and keep every strum sounding pretty much the same. Though we do, this is a good point as well for those new to playing guitar, we do tend to catch more of just the thinner strings, like the thinnest three strings on up strums and everything on down strums. So we do get... We do get that happening, like all six strings. That just tends to happen naturally, but it's a good idea to check that that's happening. Let's have a look at putting all that together now. So for the intro, we have two bars of D, just down, 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 And then we stay on the D for the start of the verse, but that intro is, as a count, is just two bars of D. Then we have D, A, E minor, and G. The verse is the same as the chorus. Play the verse quieter, keep that strumming narrow, narrower as we've just covered already, okay? And uh, just down, 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 up, down, up. Let's have a quick play on through that to make sure we've all got it from the D major chord. Make sure you're playing along with me. Capo fourth fret, you know what to do. Here we go. Two, three, and four, and one. Again, it's exactly the same as that for the chorus, but we're just going to be just strumming a little bit quieter for those verses. Pre-chorus now, and we start this time with that E minor chord, but each chord only lasts for one bar this time. Really common trick in these, uh, this era of Taylor Swift song. E minor, G, D, A. When that chord progression goes around the second time, it goes E minor, G, and then two bars of A. So be watching out for that A chord after the second G. Let's have a play along from this now. And this is for the but she wears short skirts, I wear t-shirts uh, section. That's where we're on. One, two, you know what to do. One, two. Again, but this time after the G to an A.
then we do the chorus, which we know that already. So that's like most of the song covered. But of course, it it's hard to play along to a full song when there are all these different sections. So I'll be including a full playthrough at the end of this video. That full playthrough is also going to really help with where the stops are. Now, there's a couple of stops and starts towards the end of the song. If you're a Taylor Swift fan, you know this song inside out. You know where those stops are coming. So it's only going to take one or two attempts and you're going to get it. But just to give you a heads up, this is for the second to last section, which is the bridge. Um, in England, we think of this more as a middle eight. It's after that second chorus. Uh, but here it's called the bridge, and we have that um, one strum of an A chord at the end of that. So it's the same chord progression as the pre-chorus. One strum of the A, and then down, 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 up, down, up. You can also do for those quieter sections, if you can keep up with it, we can do this, the same verse strumming pattern as we looked at with Love Story. It's just this song is a little bit faster and that can be quite, quite a bit too fast for a lot of people. But if you can do it, eight strumming all down, same strumming pattern as Love Story. So let's go for a full playthrough of this song now. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, I'll leave a chord sheet link in the top of the description. If you're on my website, it tends to be above this video, the link, though it may move if you're watching this video some point in the future, 10 years after it was filmed or something. But we do provide chord sheet links uh, so that you guys can check out those chord sheets on my website and on YouTube. Have fun with this one, guys. It's a brilliant song. Make sure you grab that guitar and join in with me.
Thank you so much for watching. I will leave some other links on the screen now to other similar songs and similar tutorials I think you might like. Be sure to subscribe to my Andy Guitar YouTube channel if you haven't already and check out all the other content that we have on my website andyguitar.co.uk. There's loads of cool stuff over there that will really help you play guitar and I hope to see you there. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.